Welcome to the Aims and Objectives video of CONSAT Group 8. In this video, our plans of observation, as well as how we generate code, electricals and mechanical design will be explored. Our primary mission, provided to all teams, is to observe how pressure and temperature change with altitude. Our secondary mission is to observe gyroscopic, acceleration and displacement data. This could be provided to the ground support module in real time to obtain motion data of the system. This project aims to imitate and possibly improve upon some existing flight tracking systems used in rocketry, drones and missiles. As all of these systems require autonomous systems that must be monitored constantly. Monitoring temperature and pressure is also extremely important for ensuring the safety of flight crew or equipment. Initially, the team had to decide on a suitable parachute size, so that the equipment would be able to be recovered. The equation in the top right is used by aeronautical engineers to calculate the terminal velocity of an object. As shown in the table, with a parachute, the CONSAT would slow to a much more manageable 3.1 meters per second. The team will graph altitude versus temperature and pressure in order to analyze the data accurately. The acceleration and displacement data will be able to be plotted on a 3D axis using software such as GNU Plot. In order to measure acceleration and gyroscopic data, we are using the MPU-9250, with a 3-axis market-leading gyroscope and 3-axis accelerometer. In order to measure altitude versus temperature and pressure, the MPL-3-115A2 will be used to accurately obtain readings. The landing and recovery system has gone through many iterations. Initially, a design with legs and clips was used as we wanted it to be fully removable, but this was then adapted to the current design, which will be glued on. The casing and base plate are also custom 3D printed, however the design is specialized to allow four servo motors to fit in whilst using as little space as possible. In order to allow space for the electricals, the parachute itself will be custom made with nylon and paracord, which will minimize the risk of a rip when released. Two main sensors are both solderable and compatible with our microcontroller, the Arduino Nano. The Nano was selected because of how compact it was and still able to perform the functions we required. Initially, the team had to solder headers onto the two PCB in order to obtain readings. Our aspiration is to eventually be able to receive data in real time via radio, however for the current launch, the data received will be written to an SD card to be collected on landing. The team had to learn to code in C++ from scratch. This was done through looking at existing libraries for software using the components we had, and then adapting this for the purpose. A dual approach was taken to data collection, with the team striving for real-time radio transmission, with a backup approach of writing to an SD card to be collected and interpreted upon landing. Software design was done on the Arduino IDE, with multiple sketches from existing libraries used in the final code. We first worked out connections and electrical setup. Using the Arduino IDE we managed to develop software to communicate with the temperature and pressure sensor. Thanks for listening, feel free to comment with any questions and please subscribe to the channel if you want to stay involved with future engineering projects.